Hey, what's up, Sean here, bringing you the best social media apps, software, and websites that are super practical that I use every day. Let's check it out. Here's a couple of the apps, software tools, and websites that I use to create quick, quality social media content pretty much every single day. And hey, uh, if you wanna see a list of the show notes as well as uh, other information, check out the YouTube description or the blog description for uh, all of these resources listed out so you can check them out more in depth. Let's jump into them. So the first tool that I use literally every single day is Hootsuite. And uh, I use it to uh, post to Facebook and Twitter. And this uh, page here probably looks kind of complex, uh, but you'll get used to it. And I use Hootsuite uh, as a way to listen to what people are saying, to uh, schedule tweets, to check direct messages, and to manage multiple accounts. I mean, if I go in here, there is something like maybe as many as 30 different social media accounts that I can manage. So, you know, when you're uh, trying to manage uh, like an event, your company, your church, your ministry, as well as spawn off social media accounts, multiple Twitter accounts, multiple, uh, you know, Facebook pages, uh, friend pages and fan pages. And as you can see, it is great on mobile. I can, uh, check you know and, and reply and do so much stuff on the road with this Hootsuite app. So this is the way one of my top tools and apps, uh, it's great on iPad, it's great on mobile, uh, on your iPhone or Droid or whatever, it's also great on desktop, laptop. My next favorite app and tool is called Afterlight and this is how I do uh, photo editing right on my mobile device and when you're on the go of course you want to be doing a lot of images for social media. Instagram images work great on Twitter even, and of course Facebook. And so um, I uh, like to use this app to sharpen photos, brighten photos. You've got a full range of uh, effects for that are a lot more in depth than a lot of apps, sharpening and brightness, contrast, things like that. You've got a whole bunch of filters that go uh, far beyond what you get with uh, Instagram and uh, uh, just inside of there as well as some other ways to crop your photos and things like that. So really recommend uh, getting Afterlight. I think you could pick it up for like a dollar and uh, helps make your uh, photos look great for sharing on all kinds of social media platforms. My next favorite app is called Instapic Frame. And if you ever wanted to create, you know, collage type effects where you have two images or it's broken into four or something and really storytell for Instagram, for Facebook, um, and combine a few pictures, I recommend this app. It seems to be the most um, you know, robust that I've seen and uh, you can get into some of your old projects and some different things. So if you're looking for a good, I know there's a lot of different tools out there, but if you're looking for a good kind of collage with a variety of, of uh, arrangements on how you could outline your photo and you know, as far as arrange the photos that you're gonna include, easy to use, check out Instapic Frame. My next uh, favorite app is, is actually kind of like an app piece of software and it's called Share as Image and I only use it on desktop or laptop and I use it um, right inside of Google Chrome and I have it installed and this is what it does. I just copied this socials or DNA from this Hootsuite page and it pops up and gives you the ability to create um, really cool kind of like uh, text quote images um, right in your browser. Um, you can use patterns on there. You can add a few different filters to uh, the image to uh, give it maybe a different kind of like vibe. And then you can um, add a watermark that could be your brand or your event uh, or your logo or something like that. And then when you share it and you save it, uh, it gives you two different options. Uh, there's a free version, and I recommend checking out the free version. Just put it in Google Chrome and you can create some cool things. Uh, but I think it just gives you the standard uh, resolution. Uh, but you can get a high definition res resolution if you check out the pro version. And I'll, I'm uh, gonna do a, a full uh, episode on uh, just share as image because I use it so much, especially for event promotion where you wanna post a lot of quotes from the speakers in a very cool way for various social platforms. 
um, and uh, integrates right with social. So it's a great thing. So check out the description for some more details about uh, shared as image. All right, so my next favorite uh, app is kind of just a website, but it's got some cool features and it's called Icono Square and it was formerly called uh, Statagram. And what it is, is a way to interact with Instagram online. Now, if you're ever at a laptop or a computer, you'll know that Instagram is just not a very uh, friendly platform. I mean, you can kind of view, you can't do a lot. The cool thing about Icono Square, and this is you know my Instagram page, and this is all I get is kind of my feed, and I can like stuff and write comments. On Icono Square, you can um, uh, go into some statistics, and so obviously, you know, Instagram is becoming a huge deal, and you can start seeing your uh, love rate, the spread rate of your images. But I mean, you literally can dive into. Uh, you know, how many new followers you're getting and see trends of, of your account's growth. And this is just my personal account, but I would do this on, um, you know, for a lot of the accounts for a clients and get them information and, and, and that I work with and those I do social media management for or events and really check out, you know, what's happening all the way down to, it's gonna tell you your like most liked media ever, uh, down to your most commented ever. And there's even um, uh, this crazy thing, you know, shows your current posting habits, the lifespan, and even your, your uh, top used tags. I mean, it's, it's just pretty crazy. So, you know, Icono Square, just a great way to kind of uh, level up your uh, Instagram game uh, and get some data, get some feedback, as well as comments and follow hashtags, just a lot of power in Icono Square. So definitely one of my daily tools that I use. Check it out. All right, so my next uh, favorite tool is Get Response, and this is what I use for email marketing. And this might not really be a social media tool directly, um, but it absolutely is um, essential that in your social media efforts, eventually you get to uh, building an email list and kind of capturing uh, you know, your audience kind of all in one place. I would highly recommend that. So GetResponse is a great email marketing uh, software. The other one um, that I use and a lot of uh, those I work with and those I work with clients and work on projects is MailChimp. Um, but ever since I switched to GetResponse, I like it about a thousand times better than MailChimp just for the better autoresponder features, uh, more dynamic things that you can do. But if you want a simple solution as well as a really free, good way to just start building that email list, also consider MailChimp. Uh, great tools that I'm using every single day. And the last uh, set of tools that I'm using as far as software and apps go is Adobe Creative Cloud. And so this is um, you know, where I do all my video editing, where I do uh, all my photo editing, so Adobe Premiere, Adobe Fo Photoshop, where I do audio editing, uh, Adobe Audition, and those are kind of the main ones that I uh, focus on. There's definitely the, a, a whole host of apps that also give you access to website building, Illustrator and design. Lightroom, I use Lightroom for bulk editing of, of photos and things like that. So it's definitely a powerhouse set of tools and eventually you know, you're creating content uh, graphically, you're creating uh, videos and, and trying to edit those. After Effects also for intros and uh, outros and all kinds of motion graphics and things like that. And so it's a monthly subscription um, but as far as the tool set for, you know, kind of like the heavy lifting of content creation for social media, Creative Cloud is what I am all about. So those are some of the software apps and websites that I use daily for social media content creation and management. And if you haven't seen my video where I go through uh, the actual physical gear, because when you're creating social media content, there's you know uh, cameras or uh, you know your mobile devices, uh, some tools that are great to travel with and take with you. What you know uh, laptop to get performance and good travel, all those kind of things. Check out that video link on the screen. And uh, also, uh, what is your favorite social media management tools? I would love to hear. If you're watching this video, please leave a comment below if you have any questions, video ideas, and specifically if you have any tools that you use that I didn't mention or that could help other people that are checking out this video, uh, definitely link that below. And then, you know, lastly, if you haven't downloaded uh, a copy of my book, Get Noticed, 
Uh, you can grab it for free at getnoticebook.net. And uh, it just goes through uh, some of the uh, social media branding tips and uh, formulas that I've used uh, to really grow my influence online over the last few years. And so you can grab a, a copy of that if you're passionate about social media. I sent out some social media quick tips in there as well. And uh, grab a copy of that at getnoticedbook.net. Is that what it is? Thanks for checking out another Get Noticed Quick Tip and we will talk soon.